All right, 38 gang. Um, this is a how to put on an oil catch can. Dang. But I got the um, this oil. This is a universal oil catch can with a baffled um, filter on the top. But I took it off because it was too big. Cause I'm about to um, put the boat back on because it's too big. So like I got it on now. I did it myself, and I'm about to show y'all how I did it. So if y'all want to know, stay tuned for the video. And yeah, I'm gonna give y'all a bunch of information on oil catch cans today. This is how y'all put it on the right way. A lot of people um, showing you how to do it on YouTube, and you, it's not really like informational. It's not like it's just like already on. So I'm about to show y'all the real way. So let's get into that. So guys, I got this oil catch can right here. It's a Baffle Universal oil catch can. I got it from Amazon. It was $32, guys. I um, mean, yeah, it's, um, it's a, I like it because it's a big size. You got your dipstick right here. And you can, when you want to check and see how hot the oil is, if y'all don't know that, um, what else this one comes with? This one comes with a filter. Let me show y'all, because before I put it together, I want to show y'all everything. This one comes with a filter. Um, you put the screen, um, it comes with the screen too, the little net is over here. So it comes with that. And then you put it in here and you just put it on here. That's helped um, the oil get filtered a little bit better. So, yeah. Let me um, show y'all that real quick. I like this one because it was real universal and it was cheap. Like, I ain't about to spend all that money on a oil catch can. It's just catching oil. It's not, it's not a performance thing. So, yeah, that's all you. That's all that is. It's a little loose because I loosened it up. But, um, I might even... I might even put that nut back on here and screw it in. Because if this was for the baffle thing on top of the, um, I'll do it in the end. So look, I gotta unscrew this to put this back on the car. I just wanted to show y'all that. So I got zip ties, a wrench. This is a, um, four, a three by four, a flathead and a um, Phillips flathead and a screwdriver. I just had a, them all the tools I use. I'm not drilling into my car. Um, and this is cheap, you know what I'm saying? It's the cheapest way you're gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? I hooked it right here. And then all y'all do is put the can on. Just like that. It's a lot of noise. Bear with it. So guys, 38 game. Um I don't want to have a lot of downtime, like I said before. And yeah, I explained this, how this go. The, um, this is the engine um, crankshaft, crankcase, the top of the engine, and then you got the manifold right here. So you put the manifold into the end. You got different fittings for these, um, for those little um, pipes, the hole filler things. So I chose the ones that was more fitting to mine. So the, this um, kit right here gives you three different um, sizes. So, hold up. And also, before I almost forgot, I gotta put this on these little rings so I can tighten them. Almost forgot about that. You can use lubricant if you want. I didn't really need it, so I didn't use it. This one was a little bit tricky, but it, it definitely fit. Once I got it on, it got it on. Just like that. And. You gotta tighten to your to your discretion. This one is uh, need to be loosened and tightened. So everybody watching and my 38 gang that's already subscribed to the channel, if y'all don't know what an oil catch can, I just wanted to take like 10 seconds out to tell y'all what they are and what they what they do. I'll try to put a picture somewhere or something in the video to help. But yeah, so oil catch can um, is it's basically something that you put on a engine. And yeah, it, it, and it catches the oil down there. So you have a, your um, crank case right here, and then you have the um, end. They just show um, manifold, engine manifold right here. So the oil comes in, comes in it, um, oil catch can filters. I got if y'all didn't see me install it, it's a baffle that helps filters it, and it comes and basically comes back out into the engine filter. 
And that's basically what it does. It just preserves the engine and stop all the contaminants from um, going back into the engine. And I try to make that as big as possible. All right, so y'all see how easy this was? I was gonna take it to the shop. I also, I also caught up a few of my homies to see if they wanted to come help me. But I said, forget it, I'm gonna go out there and do it myself. And yeah, this is this how it turned out. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and tight, but not like, it can't even get tighter, so. Yeah. Same thing for this one. So I got it all the way screwed down, especially this one is real tight. You just wanna make sure they on there, you know what I'm saying? They on there pretty good. Um, it's like, a, it's 30, it's not even sturdy. So that's what the zip ties was for in my install, guys where I um, use zip ties to make it sturdy. And I chose black ones because that's the frame of my car black. And this is gonna make it tighter to the um, car and not, I didn't want to drill holes once, like, like I said before, 38 game. I ain't, make, I ain't a shop so I don't have all this stuff to drill holes and I didn't really want to do all of that. That's kind of extra. So I found the alternative, it's a little, if I want to make it a little bit more sturdy, I can do that. So I think I'm gonna use one more to make it a little bit more sturdy. So I got it on there sturdy. It ain't doing no nothing. It's the most, it got a slight little wiggle. But remind you, I didn't screw it down. That's extra right there. But um, like I said before, guys, this was pretty, it went pretty smooth. I had to take my shades off. Um. I gotta show y'all something else, but I gotta um, wait till I put my car at home. I'm gonna show y'all and I'm gonna put that on. So y'all stay tuned for this, um, like a little treat I got for y'all. All my real supporters, y'all about, about to be in store for something real quick. Um, if y'all ain't standing, sticking around, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, that's how y'all put on an oil catch can effectively. Let me throw my, um, that's how to do and install. And I gave y'all like some tips, like information on it too. So like, like how to do it or what the, like what y'all looking at because you don't know you'll get in there and you don't even know what you're looking at so see it fit right now yeah 38 gang so i got like i said stay tuned for the next install this is what it would look like if i had i don't got enough space on my hood so i'm about to take this baffle thing off but this is what it would look like on there and if you, as you can see, if it was lower, it can fit, but this hood don't let, let it fit. Let me see, cause I try to shut it. I'm like, this thing don't fit. Yeah. Oh, actually, you might be able to. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm just trying to break stuff. But yeah, I think it will be able. It will though. It would just be smashed in there. I ain't gonna do that. I'm just gonna take it off like I said before. And put that little nut, because it come with a little nut on there that you can put in there. So I'm going to put this little thing back on there. And like I said, stay tuned for the end of the video. I'm about to show y'all what I got in. It's a little surprise for all my subscribers that actually been supporting me from day one. I want y'all to see what I got in store for y'all. It's just a little nut I'm about to throw back in here. And this, um... Setup might be subject to change depending on, cause I got some other mods coming. So just depending on what I put in here and what else I do, it might subject to change y'all. So I just wanted to make sure I get the oil catch can on there and help my engine out a little bit until I you know, figure out everything. So that's installed, whatever, cool. All right, y'all. Thanks again for um, all the support, y'all. And stay tuned for the next mod, DIY, blog, gaming video, 
my Dirty Dragon videos, football videos. Stay tuned for all my videos, guys. Smash that like button, and yeah, y'all. Peace.